23 BC's photojournalist Nefti Quijada. Nefti Quijada. Nefti Quijada. Nefti Quijada. Nefti Quijada was there and brings us the details. Celebrating our 108th commencement ceremony. And tonight we get to celebrate the accomplishment of three classes combined. And tonight we're expecting about 15,000 um, attendees, uh, not including our graduates. I'm expecting about 1,800 students in attendance not including our faculty and staff who are celebrating them. So it is going to be a full house tonight. It's going to be very exciting, a lot of energy. And for us to do it in the Memorial Stadium for the first time in three years is going to be very, very memorable. You know, here in Kern County, we know all about hard work. We know about challenges. Our students have really been able to overcome that. And that's why we have this really large number of graduates this evening. You know, this is a time that we really celebrate our, our families and students. Uh, over the course of the academic year, 3,000 students this year will be graduating from CSUB. 1,600 in this particular ceremony. The Heritage Festival is an event to go ahead and bring up our ethnic diversity and go ahead and gather our whole community. So this is the first event since the pandemic. We haven't had another event for a long time because we had certain restrictions on what kind of events we could do as a church community. Seeing that our church has so many people from different ethnic backgrounds, I saw that there was an opportunity for us just to come as a community and to be able to also celebrate our ethnic diversity just by showcasing our food. And what better way to be able to showcase our ethnic diversity by showcasing something that everybody loves. Pride to me means just finding community, people who are going to support you emotionally and in your business. So we're out here supporting small artists, small businesses that are queer people, LGBTQ community in Bakersfield, finding friends and supporting their businesses. We're out here doing that today. Our event hosts over 40 queer um, local businesses. Most everyone here, 40 plus queer vendors, all sorts of queer resources resources, rental relief, queer spaces that are good for employment, and a lot of artists and other sort of small businesses. We're coming out to the event is to be able to remember history and to be able to embrace our future for our children and generations to come to be able to have a space that they can commune and be able to enjoy each other. Juneteenth means freedom from slavery from our people. Our ancestors in 1865 were free from slavery. That's when they began to go around for the next two years to tell the people that were on concentration camps and with the enslaved quarters that they were free. This is a Punjabi language school. This is not only for the Sikh people, this is for everyone. Anyone can come and they can join this school. And with the language, we will also teach people about the Sikh history and the Sikh beliefs so that they can connect with their roots and uh, they can uh, understand the culture of the Sikhism. So that's what we're trying to do in this school. We're just trying to teach the mother tongue to our kids. We're just trying to connect our kids with their roots and with their culture. So I think that every community should try to keep connected their kids with their roots and with their, with their culture. That's what we are trying for this school. The Freedom Sisters League is our team that goes in and rescues women out of sex trafficking. So we go in there when it's safest for them and it's safest for us. We have an extraction team that we call the Freedom Sisters League. We'll go in and we'll get them out get them to a safe place and then work with them if they want to be reunited with their family or they can come into our safe house, Restoration Ranch Women's Shelter, and we'll, do, we'll offer them long-term care for free and help them rehabilitate their lives. I think it's important to be an organ donor because the amount of lives that an organ or the body could save after the fact is at least eight from the amount of organs that could cure blindness and the tissue, blood, the plasma left behind can be spread across dozens of people. The organs can go on to be giving people a second chance who are nearly at their end when someone's already brain dead or already met their end. It allows part of them to go on and it gives other people another chance at life. The event here today is called the Wasco Rose Festival. It is an annual community event that the Wasco community puts on and enjoys. It's returning to its long-held date of the Saturday after Labor Day. So this year, it's today on the 10th. It's a long-standing community tradition. We have a powwow, an annual powwow, and we had not had it for two years because of COVID, but this is our, our return back. This is the first time in 150 years this is tribe has had a homeland and this is our, our first land that's been taken into trust for us so it means a lot 
to us to be able to host our family and all our friends and Native peoples from the, throughout the U.S. You literally saved the world. We cannot thank you enough. I did everything I possibly could for my country, and now my country is saving me. But we know them as the greatest generation. And if you wonder how best could we honor them, how best could we live on with their legacy? It would be to study their traits and their characteristics.